speakers. Thank you to the families for ringing the bells and reading the names and to the high school students for, for helping. Governor Rendell, thank you for coming today and thank you in advance for sharing your thoughts and your reflections. It is an honor to have you here, but it is also a comfort. You and your entire team in Harrisburg have been and continue to be one of our biggest supporters and advocates. I know that you keep your finger on the pulse of all we are doing. You visit us whenever you can and you are always ready to jump in whenever we need you. We could not have done this without you and so we are honored to have you with us today. Please welcome our governor, our partner, and our friend, Edwin G. Rendell. When Mitch and I first visited this site in my first year as governor, I didn't know what a profound effect it would have on us, and I didn't know just how important it was that what we do here be done right and provide not only a lasting memorial to 40 great human beings, but to tell a story that's important for all Americans and all future generations of Americans to understand, to hear, and to know. And towards that end, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania has been pleased to be able to contribute $19 million towards these efforts. And I was able to convince the Pennsylvania legislature to appropriate that money unanimously. And for those of you who are not Pennsylvanians, you have to understand what an incredible feat that is. The Pennsylvania legislature could not agree unanimously that today is Saturday. <laughs> when Flight 93 crossed into Pennsylvania, the, the fight to defend and protect our country was already underway. It was a fight that would be won at great cost, the cost of 40 wonderful lives. And although none of the passengers and crew of Flight 93 were Pennsylvanians, from the moment that the plane hit the ground, their names became indelibly etched into the history of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, along with many great men and women who have fought to protect and defend freedom and liberty in this great country, along with Benjamin Franklin of Philadelphia, who committed treason and risked his life to give birth to this new nation, along with General George Marshall of Uniontown, who, led, who helped lead the Allied war effort in World War II, and as Secretary of State, helped rebuild our allies throughout the world. General George McClellan and George Meade, who at Gettysburg led the Army of the Republic in the most vital battle that kept this nation won. Daniel Hughes of Williamsport, who led the effort to speed slaves through the Underground Railway to freedom. Daniel Boone of Reading, the great frontiersman who fought so gallantly. And Mary Hayes of Carlisle, who became known as the legendary Molly Pritchard for in the Battle of Monmouth in the War for Our Revolution in 1778, took water to the soldiers and the artillerymen on the field fighting, and she took water through a hail of cannon and, and, and bullets. And then when her husband was wounded, her husband was wounded at a cannon, loading that cannon, she took her husband's place in a 100 degree heat for over five hours stood there and was wounded herself as she helped load and fire the cannon. They were all Pennsylvania heroes. So were the 40 men and women we honor today. On behalf of 12.5 million Pennsylvanians, I want to say, we will never forget what they did in our skies. 